Hello, my name is Joe from Hike Arizona. We are going to talk about how to use Basecamp, uh, Garmin Basecamp, to select what you need to post a route on Hike Arizona. So, I'm not a Basecamp user. Um, this is what's called a standalone program. These <clears throat> aren't really used much anymore. I will, I'll go over that at the end of this uh, tutorial. Uh, when you use something like this, it is only on your computer. Um, Hike Arizona has a solution for that, and it's free too. Um, I'm using this and it's telling me to buy stuff. I have something on Hike Arizona that's free, and it's better. Um, but if you want to use Basecamp, let's go over some simple instructions, hopefully, as far as I can understand. Uh, I just loaded this 10 minutes ago. I'm going to click on File, and it seems to, if I have this in my collection highlighted, and I go Import into my collection, um, if I have another one highlighted, it will highlight into that folder, I guess. But I'm going to go into my collection. So <clears throat> I'm going to import into my collection, and I'm going to import a GPS a GPS route that has a track and several waypoints. So I'm importing this right now. Boom! There it is. Okay. So from what I understand, the little feet down here, that is the track. All these other things are waypoints. Um, see, some people call them point of interest. <clears throat> to get these over to Hike Arizona, we're going to need to export. And what's going to be exported is going to depend on what you have highlighted. You could highlight all of these by uh, having the first one highlighted, pressing your shift key, and clicking on the last one. That highlights everything. But let's say you just want to do a couple. Let's say we want to do the track. This is the hiking track, because it has the little feet. <clears throat> and we want to do a couple waypoints. You're going to press your Apple key, and you're going to select the ones that you want. I'm going to select three, just so that we can kind of see here. So I have, you can see that, that, and that. I kind of have a triangle little setup here of uh, waypoints, plus the track. Now I'm going to click on File, and I'm going to click on Export Selected User Data. That's because it's selected down here. So we're going to type in a name, um, and I'm going to type Post This to Has, because it makes it easier for me to find it. <coughs> this is so much easier to do on Hike Arizona, but I'm just going to, I'm just going through this so that in case anybody uses Basecamp, they can understand. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go to Hike Arizona, and I'm going to click on Post, and I'm going to click on Route, because we're going to post a route. What is a route? A route is a collection of tracks and waypoints. So that's what a route is. We're going to click on Upload, and it's going to be from my device. Route Cloud is if you are using the Hike Arizona version of what Basecamp does. It's an online solution that is anywhere you are online. Um, but we're going to go ahead from my device and we're going to look for that post this on has. Where is that? Okay, here it is. We're under downloads, post this to has. And I'm going to choose it and when this loads it should be one track and three waypoints, right? Let's see what happens. Boom! We have one track, we have three waypoints, it says right here, one track, three waypoints. Um, you can see there's a map, I didn't need to purchase a map. Uh, everything on Hike Arizona is free. Uh, we do have topo maps, we have all that jazz, we have satellite, you name it, we got it. Um, so now, uh, I would just post this. Now I could if I forgot something, I could go in and I could do a new waypoint. But generally, 
when you go to post you want to be ready to post that's just for minor corrections you would not want to add a bunch of waypoints that way when you post it's kind of final it's kind of like you're writing a book and you're sending it to the publisher uh, you're sending it to the public so you don't want to make corrections after you post it alright so I'm gonna click on post because I'm good with it and now in here you have a couple options we can post it to one of the 10,000 descriptions on Hike Arizona that it would match um, if it doesn't match one you could switch to a generic name um, I'm just gonna go with a generic name here for this just for just for this tutorial um, if you if there is a description page that matches your route you would post it to that uh, description page so I'm gonna call this uh, test post and since I don't want to make this public to everybody I'm just kind of doing a tutorial here I'm gonna hide this for one week which means it's not gonna show on the home page so I'm gonna go ahead and submit it and what we get here is it takes me to my profile page on my routes tab and it shows that I have this test post I'm gonna to go to the home page just to show that it is not listed under new GPS routes that's because I hit it for one week um, the only reason I hit it is because this is a tutorial um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into this my test post and let's see what we have here so now we have this track that posted and we have our three waypoints I'm gonna go ahead and right click over the map which is the same thing as this menu button up here just right click on your mouse and I'm gonna switch it to Cal Topo so we can see the Topo trace on here <clears throat> now this was gray I'm guessing in base camp I this is why I really don't use other software um, <laughs> it's gray and since we posted it like I said we've sent it to the publisher boom it's out in the public you want to have that stuff ready before you go so um, now what may confuse some people is we have this uh, route manager add track route manager add waypoint if you did that stuff now it's not going to affect this posted route that is this route manager is this and this is the same thing more or less it's it's a different setup but it's the same thing more or less as Basecamp um, except for it's anywhere you're online you could use multiple computers um, you could go to a Europe and use a computer at a motel and you could access your routes on Hike Arizona um, so with that in mind I'm going to go back and you have a few days to delete or make minor edits to it so I'm gonna go ahead and delete once again you've sent this to the public uh, Hike Arizona is an archive so you don't want to post stuff that you're planning on deleting later but you do have a couple days to do it I'm gonna go back to the home page and I'm gonna show you another way to go about doing this um, on Hike Arizona we're going to go to map and we're gonna select the route manager tab so this as I mentioned is the same thing as Basecamp or Topo uh, is another one that I know of uh, I can't think of the other ones I haven't used them for so long uh, Topo is the one that I used to use and it frustrated me that I couldn't use it um, on multiple devices and have my data available to me everywhere they do have uh, subscription based stuff probably these days but um, there had to have been a better solution and that's why we created route manager make this window a little smaller and I'm gonna show you how to load these buttons on here are the same thing as these extended ones up here when you hover over add uh, track add waypoint you can go to the load route it's also right here I'm gonna load route and you can see that I have a bunch of routes saved 
all of that and 12 more pages of that. I've been doing it for years. Um, this is mine. This is what's public. These are what my friends on Hike Arizona have posted. You can't do that on Basecamp or Topo or those other uh, standalone programs. So anyhow, um, how do we go about doing this? Well, I'm going to upload the same thing. I'm going to upload that same track that I uploaded into Basecamp and we're going to check it out here on Route Manager. Route Manager is loading. Um, as we can see, this has all those waypoints, not just the three. You have your Tracks tab, you have your Waypoints tab. Our track is colored black. It's going to post black. If I wanted to change the color, let me go over that again, I would click on the track and I would click on color and I could change it. Then it would post red. Um, right now, let's remember this is just in Route Manager. So, um, I want to go ahead and make it black again. While I'm at it, let's go ahead and click profile over here. This is going to show you, I'm going to right click over my map to get a terrain map so we get a little better base, see what's going on here. We can hover over this and see what's going on, how this hike went about. This hike went in a, it would appear to have gone in kind of a counterclockwise figure eight type of loop. <coughs> um, the nice thing is you can click into satellite. You can really zoom in on satellite because it has more uh, in-depth layers to look at. You can even see where this guy parked. This is Flying Fliver, by the way. He's a disc maniac. He goes and he looks for discs on top of mountains. Uh, so, that's just a couple things in Route Manager. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close that. This little circle means to center and zoom. That shows the entire track. Um, these are the waypoints. If I wanted to delete some of them to get down to maybe just those three that I had before, we got Black Tank 1, we got Trimark, and we have Black Azimuth. So uh, we could do Select All, and then I could click on these, and let's see what we got here. You see it highlights over here. I'm going to uncheck that. going to uncheck that one. And I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was that one. Black Mesa. Obviously, if you're doing it, you know which ones you want to have and not. So I have all these other ones selected. I'm going to delete those. Boom. Okay. So now I have basically the same thing that I had in uh, Basecamp. And I would need to save it. This is going to save it to Route Cloud. Um, test RM, Test Route Manager, uh, Hike. I'm going to save it. So now, let's check something out here. Let's go to the home page. And let's go back to the map. Let's go into Route Manager. And let's go into Load. And you can see there's my test route manager hike. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. Um, what, I, what I wanted to, you to see there is I went to the home page and I came back. This is in route manager. This would be the same thing as being in uh, Basecamp or Topo. Uh, it's not posted to Hike Arizona. This is a program. This is, this is software, basically, in... Uh, Hike Arizona. Route Manager is indeed, it's called a uh, cloud, applica cloud application um, because you can use it anywhere. So let's say I wanted to post that. Well I could load it here and I have this track and then I could go and I could post it. That's one way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, it's telling me it hadn't been saved because I just loaded it. You always have to save go ahead and post it. It's going to open a new window and it's going to load that. This is the GPS upload. Upload and post a GPS route. 
So now I could post it to the public. Um, but I'm going to show you one other way to do this. I'm going to go ahead and delete instead of posting. I'm going to go to my home page. I'm going to go back to post. End or out. And we're going to do it the upload way. We're going to upload. And instead of from my device, remember how at first I got from Basecamp? I'm going to do from Route Cloud. And it gives me that same menu with all these hikes that I have. I could even access one from last week or whatnot. Not only that, but this is also works with, we have an app called HasTracks. Um, if you save uh, your tracks on has tracks after you've hiked and you send them to route manager boom then you can post them on hike arizona real easy you don't even need a gps but let's go ahead with what we got here we got our test rm hike i'm loading this from route cloud which is the storage device for route manager now here we have it and i can post it so in review i've gone over several ways I'm going to go ahead and delete it because I don't really want to post it. We've gone over several ways that we can post. Um, and this, as I said, this is intended for people that are using uh, Basecamp. I am not uh, fluent in Basecamp. Like I said, I just downloaded this. If you have other questions um, on maybe this setup doesn't look exactly like yours, this is... Uh, what is this? April 19th, 2015. I just downloaded it from Garmin, and this is on a Mac. Um, so maybe yours looks different if you're using Windows or Linux or something else. Um, always feel free to contact the webmaster at Hike Arizona. Uh, the email address there is trildex at gmail.com. T R A I L D E X at gmail.com. Thank you.